Party, APC, nor mine alone. It is indeed the victory of all the good people of the state who, despite the challenges that could have dampened their spirit and prevented them from exercising their civic duties, defied the odds and came out in their large numbers and laid the foundation for this ceremony. You are the real heroes and heroines of this success and democracy. You are the ultimate winners. Elections are the bedrock of democracy, with people having inalienable rights to periodically choose those they want to entrust their affairs to. These rights must not be abridged in any way, and when people have clearly expressed their preferences, as they have done in this instant case, all of us must respect the will of the people, put electioneering and bickering behind, and rally around to address the challenges confronting our state and our people, if indeed our motivation is to serve. It is gratifying to note that almost all my major contestants have demonstrated the spirit of sportsmanship, congratulated us, and even responded to our hands of fellowship. I salute your character, which confirms that your motivation is beyond aspiration for office or personal interest. Our hands of fellowship remain wide open to all. Let me reiterate once again. I solemnly swear the administration will be fair, just, equitable, and inclusive. A government that truly earns and deserves confidence and trust of the citizenry through a transparent and accountable leadership. Focused and qualitative governance that creates the enabling environment for an enduring economic development and individual prosperity of all Ogun people. Indeed, a government for all and not a few. Good governance is not just a legitimate expectation of our people, which we are committed to. It is also our little way of showing gratitude to God Almighty for his benevolence that made our success at the poll and today's event a reality. Many of you are fully aware of my odyssey to warrant any recap here. Suffice to say that left to man, I will not be here standing here today. God manifested his awesomeness and clearly committed, communicated that man is man and God will be God. God has been merciful and faithful to me in this journey. And I'm obliged to remain faithful to him, keeping faith with campaign promises I made to the people and make their welfare priority at all times.